Hey guys, that my gamer back here for the video guys. Today we're gonna give my honest review of Mutt 21. I've been playing this for about a month now. I have literally grinded out 15 farm accounts. I have 15 accounts on level 46. So it's time to go ahead and give a grade for each thing in Mutt. We're gonna separate this up with a, uh, different categories. Going off right away, we do have the category of sets. We have solos, we have head to head, and of course we're finalizing it off with promos. Objective list is in there too. So starting off with the soul, uh, sets guys real fast, we do have a lot of good sets in the game. We have a lot of good promos in the game. We'll cover promos later. But when it comes to just sets, let alone just sets, I'm going to give it a B. I think the sets are really cool. I do like the sets and I do like the fact you can get a free 88 of all with the brand new promo. Hopefully they keep that going. I love it when they actually give you a chance to get the players back NAT, like two players back NAT, like we've seen with the uh, awesome kickoff right here. I love that fact. And overall, I mean, since the first day when the sets were so broken, you could barely add cards to the game without it crashing. I like it. I definitely like it. If you guys do not know, if you guys are new to the channel, I love the exchange set. I love the 82 to 83 overall exchange set. I've done it so many videos on it. I'll do so many more videos on it because absolutely crazy great. I love it. Love the insane set. Now, overall, when it comes to, you know, Team of the Week, I don't like how that was changed. And I feel like this might be an A if it wasn't for Team of the Week. Uh, Team Diamonds, I think they were a great promo. I definitely love completing all 32 of them. Great way to transfer coins up back in the day, not anymore. Um, and of course, the Team Builders, same concept. So overall... I'm going to give it a B. Tell me down below, guys, your grading system. I want everyone to watch this video. Tell me down below your grading system for this. All right, so now solo challenges. The funny ultimate challenges. The funny thing is, this right here, guys, would be a definite, and I'm 100% going to say this, a definite B or A. I have one thing. Gauntlet and Journey. Why? Who at EA? Who at EA thought? All right, you know what? We're going to change Team of the Week because everyone loves Team of the Week how it is. We're going to change that. We don't need them to have the same Team of the Week as they always have. Nah, let's change that. Oh, and by the way, what else do they love? We love Gauntlet and Journey. Yeah, get rid of that. Honestly, I do believe we're going to get Journey and Gauntlet with Series 2 coming out in a couple weeks. Well, the fact this wasn't here at launch is just disappointing. There's no point for it not to be here at launch. And I think it was a pointless not being here. So because of that, they get a C for solos. They would get a B or an A if they had Gauntlet or Journey. And don't tell me, and I'm going to comment, well, Rizzles, whatever the heck the name is, this is the make right of Journey. It's not. First off, you don't get any packs from it. Second off, this is not Journey. You know what this is? This is the campaign the campaign from last year. That's all it is. It's just a mixture of the campaign and your team captains. That's all it is. You literally do these solos right here, guys. It's the same thing as last year. Except, you know what, last year? And you know what? Last year, you got 87 Deion Jones, Zach Ertz, and Big Ben for completing it. This year, you get 85s. Yeah. Yeah, they downgraded. All right, ultimate kickoff. I do like how you can complete these solos and actually get free players from it. But that's the only one you can get free players from. You can get power-ups from this, but no players. You can get a team of the year token plus a, I think it's a, yeah, a base player. Nothing too special. And you can go ahead and from this solo, you can actually get, what's it called? You can get the team of the year uh, coin up. But there you go. Coin ups, right? EA bought them back. I love it, right? Great concept. 1,500 coins if he gets a crazy thing happen. Not only that, the ultimate kickoff team affiliate, every time they win, you get 1,000 training, which is a lot. Don't get me wrong. That's a pretty nice amount of training. But there's there's not really... I mean, the most he can get is 16,000 training, which is amazing, but they're not going to get that. And every loss they get, they lose 1,000. So if they go 10 and 6... They gain 10,000 and lose 6,000. <laughs> they gain 4,000. Why? Who at EA is thinking these things are good ideas? 
I want to know, EA, who is EA running the show saying, you know what, guys? We're going to make it so every time they win a game, the, their team wins the game, get a thousand training. Oh, that's amazing. That yo, Get this guy a promotion. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not done. I'm not done. Oh, this guy. Let's go and get light. Let's listen. This guy probably has a great idea. They're going to lose a thousand every time they lose. What? Yeah, yeah. So they're going to gain a thousand, right? And let's say they go 15. Let's say they go, you know, eight and eight, right? They're going to have zero. Why? We've had this last year and last year it worked out because last year it was you had the 80 you had the ultimate kickoff players upgrading as they won games they didn't lose nothing lost it was a great it was a great system it worked everyone loved it why do you change it why do you make it worse uh i don't get it i don't get it and it's gonna be a rant for the program video program part of this video i don't get it i don't understand it at all like, why do you take something that works and go, you know what? That can be changed. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So I do like how you get free 85 overalls from community solos. Again, there's a lot of reason why it's a C. I might give it a C plus if I'm being nice, but overall, no. Now let's talk about the stimulus package. Why? No, I'm being honest here, guys. Why? First off, guys do not know why the stimulus package is in the game. It's because EA messed up and solo battled. People couldn't complete them. So how do you fix a mess up because EA fluffed up? Make the players on Madden have to grind nine full games and get one third of the rewards that they normally would get. So in order for them to fix something they messed up, instead of giving us free rewards, and fixing the situation, they make us grind 10 times harder for less rewards. That's an absolute joke. And that's not even a funny one. That's a stupid, stupid joke. I can't believe they actually did that. Kind of like back when they messed up in the past and they would ban people for taking advantage of their mess up. Come on, man. All right, so let's get into a lighter note. Objective list, a B. And there's only two reasons why objective list gets a B. There's only two. First off, if you go down to Mutt Master and you go, I have a video on the channel explaining exactly how to do this, guys. You can complete this within one hour time. Get 125,000 coins absolutely free. I have a video on the channel explaining how to do this, how to get this all done. That's why it's a B. With the daily objective list is also pretty nice. I do like that. But overall, it's a B. It's not bad. All right. Now we're going to group together, guys. Head to head. Um, weekend league, draft, and mutt squads. Okay. Overall, let's start with weekend league. D. I had to exit. I had to restart my game after every single game. I had to restart my whole entire Madden copy. That's a D. It's glitchy. It's laggy. That's a D. Seasons, house rules, tug of war, I like. That's an A. Seasons as a whole, it's a C. We'll talk about it in a second, okay? I'm averaging this grade out to a B minus. Squads, a B. I haven't really played it much. Draft, a B. Now, let's talk about why Seasons is stupid and why the whole head-to-head, -head, I'm giving a C. The whole entire thing. Why? Why, 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 why? Training, whatever, competitive. There's nothing to spend your training on. I mean, your competitive currency on. There's really nothing. You're not going for a master player because it costs 750 train. I mean, a competitive currency. You know how long it's going to take you? That's going to take you like pretty much a week or two just to get that done. You're not going for the 85 plus overall. So what are you going for? You're going for Coach Madden. That's the only thing you're going for. Why... When God's green grass, do they not go ahead and give us a series master? I don't know. <laughs> I don't get why. Why not give us a series master? Makes no sense. Literally, that's another reason you could go ahead and use your competitive currency to go ahead and get a series master. 
it makes sense ea doesn't make sense first off another thing and next thing i want to talk about so coach man is the only reason why you're playing head to head and using this because you're not doing these crappy packs these crappy packs are crap so if you're just using it to get the coach madden and the coach madden collectibles okay but it costs so much to get him and so much to upgrade him and get the collectibles it's it's pointless it's really really pointless to a point if you're trying to make coins running head to head is stupid it's really stupid there's no point i do not recommend doing it and that's why i get to C because head to head is that bad and weekend league actually bought down the grade i'm gonna give a c plus see i was gonna say um it would have a better grade but weekend league is so bad unless you're grinding just because you want to grind head to head there's no point all right so let's talk about the promos in the game legends b i like the I, I love the concept of the boss player i like it i like it i like it I like it overall it's gonna be a b because heavyweights decent not bad limited edition cards i don't really fluff with them because they cost too much but i mean i like limited time cards in the game in a week wasn't broke but they fixed it ultimate kickoff again decent team diamonds decent superstar so overall b now i was gonna review i did a, a rating i did this video before i did a rating for the auction house and the trade block and both of them crashed on me the game crashed on me twice when i did a review of the trade block so i gotta give a trade block a c because i couldn't even do a review on it without it crashing auction house is a b i'm gonna average it out as a b minus overall guys i'm giving madden a c minus for this year so far that's up to one month i think it can be a really great game i think they have a lot of things they can fix and go ahead and make better and i think this game could be a definite b minus mid b by the end of this year but for right now i can't give anything but a c minus i think there's so much things they need to work on and fix and we didn't even talk about the major thing gameplay so gameplay it's a d it's a d every single year for gameplay and i don't think sadly they're ever gonna fix that d false on that it's it's a d every single season guys it's the same concept we have we complain about gameplay and ea says you can play about gameplay we're gonna throw this at you throw this at you throw this at you stop throwing stuff at us and just fix the issue <laughs> Franchise mode is also like, uh, I'll give that a C. It's the same thing as last year. And all the other game modes as a collective C. But, fix the issue, EA. Yeah. Guys, that's pretty much it for my review. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Give me your reviews down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.